Okay, picking up from, from where we left off, we're doing a kind of normal map. We're going for the 15 hour speedrun achievement, but we've got marathon settings, uh, which is why these, these coils things are going kind of weird. Um, last time we outposted a bunch more, we, we got, um, that was the old one. Oh, I've got, I've got more poles there, whatever. Um, but yeah, we built, we built all of this. We built this stuff. We've increased our redshift production over here. We've got a couple more modules. We've got another Petrican build. We've got oil over here, which I'm now wasting because that's just building up. I kind of need that to be, I need to empty this into the main base. Um, we've got some landmine defense. Um, how many landmines do you, you've got another 500 landmines in storage, so that's fine. Yeah, we've got some mining going. And now we need to take all of this back to base. And I don't think, yeah, I can't pick up the car because we're going to have to do a bunch of this in the car because I don't have the inventory space to pick up what's in the car. But now we've got to go and build a bunch more things. We've also got to get this oil back to the base because the main base doesn't really have enough oil, I believe. Let's just check on whether or not that's true. Um, everyone's... Yeah, the main base does not have enough oil. Some of these refineries aren't running, um, so we need to, you know, help them with that. Fortunately, we've got a way to help them with that. Um, so, yeah, this is hopefully... I mean, there is there is one other bit of outposting I need to do. Or at least... Come on, get it in the right place. Um, yeah, this, this one is the one that we're going to get to drive for a long way, isn't it? There is... There is one other, one other kind of outposting section that I... Actually, I've not connected all of the iron, have I? And I've also run out of pipes, so... Um, yeah, let's just check whether or not that's an issue. Because the thing the thing I didn't include is, yeah, this, this guy is not getting enough iron because I didn't connect any extra iron here so I have the belt for that so let's go and do that quickly and then also maybe pick up some more iron to handcraft some underground pipes although I'm not gonna have enough of those either I'm just gonna have to go back to the main base and pick up more oh well um do I have yeah I think that's gonna be as many oh no these guys need to be upgraded as well so we'll do that and um, we'll do a bunch of these things, a bunch of these things, and then... And then we'll run this. Um, have I picked a good line for this? Not quite. Um, all the way over here. And you know what? Also give me these, because you know you're there. And yeah, so now that's connected, which is going to be good. Uh, we're getting some... This is a belt here that I can run down. We're getting some number of... Where did I leave those over there? We're getting... Yeah, this is not going to be enough for that, but whatever. We're going to probably just swing past the main base and pick up some more. But we are at the point where I've faffed around with that for so long that I am losing oil production. Um, actually, what I also wanted to do... How many pumps do I have? Two pumps? Yeah. Um, somewhere over here, like here, where I've got an easy power connection. Let's just pump, keep pumping that to maintain the pressure to get everything else back to the main base. And then somewhere over here, where these, yeah, all these red chips, all these red and green chips on the top line are also banking up because I'm not doing anything with them yet. Um, is, where are we going, are we going... Let's shift it up by a tile. Uh, did that work? Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Uh, except I don't have... I need some of these. Uh, not there. Not there either, as it turns out. Okay. Um, do I want to... Yeah, I think actually the first thing to do... Wondering about which kind of production I'm worrying about wasting more is this belt. I need to be putting the the output somewhere. So we're going to let oil. Am I worried about oil wasting a bit? 
maybe is this a thing that's going to be faster to set up uh, okay so now there's a piece of steel and oxide yeah then the other reason why we've set these electric furnaces up in the way we have okay so we've also have i run out of belt i have not run out of belt um running these electric furnaces the way we are means that okay so we'll get some stuff building up there but also we've bought ourselves a little belt delay time and we've got a couple more pipes with which we can attempt to get this oil um where am i where am i going over here through through here so kind of like through through this section this line is that going to be a place that works where is it oh there okay um here and there and there Yeah, so we're now we're now kind of connecting connecting this other oil outpost, which is I mean it's already getting some work done. Uh nope. Cool. Uh multiple times, eh? Uh, okay, well, we're close enough for that to be a thing anyway. Um, and then I think over here is going to be, like, just here. Looks like a really good spot for another pump, just to maintain pressure. And, yeah, we got we got some more outposting to do at this point. We've got... Yeah, I need to get that oil in. Um, for the To get the oil in, I need oh, so much wood. Uh, but that's also fine, because it's going to go here. And then I've got a lot of power poles. I kind of still want a lot of power poles. Um... I was not here for belt. I was here for underground pipes. Um, that's going to be probably more than I need, but whatever. Okay, and then these, yeah, I need... Those I will need later. Blue science is kind of building up. Um, the other thing I wanted to do here, and I guess we do it here because we're kind of... We're kind of doing a thing, is... So first of all, everything that's not... Yeah, green circuits want to go on the left, and then everything else is just like... I will deal with you later. Um, I don't know how many how many of these things. So so we're just gonna have a buffer of red chips, which is fine. Um, these guys. Uh, yeah, if I do this and this, then the green chips are on both sides, and now they will also just feed into that buffer. Okay, so all of that is buffering, and these guys are also yeah we're doing we're doing pretty well there. Um, my car is over here, and I still want to get to, yeah, next, next important things to do, uh, connect this oil pipe, which is just here, to the input oil pipe, which is just here. Uh, and this might also turn out to be, uh, do I want to... So I can't have a pump there. I can have a pump here. So I don't have any pumps. Okay. Um, solved. That's that's solved now, right? All these guys are just running. Yeah. And then the other thing I wanted to do, because there's a couple of other things about this. Let's just get rid of this circuit condition for a moment. And we'll just empty these tanks. Because at this point I can I'm happy running down these buffers and spinning it all through the cracking and putting all the stuff over there because Because yeah, I, I don't want those buffers at the moment. Um I would rather just because it represents resources that I have collected that are just kind of sitting there. Whereas I would rather just this this pump will Yeah, we'll we'll circuit condition again later with a smaller amount, but I just don't need that buffer at the moment, I don't think. Um what I do need, these guys are complaining about modules that they don't have, which is fine. They've got landmines. This is, this is not all running because, because I don't have, I don't have enough gas. Why is this? Ah, this is actually really important. 
this is going to throttle the amount of stuff I'm getting out, so I've actually got to go over there and fix that, uh, which is a shame, because what we're supposed to be doing today is mining that iron, um, but we're going to do that later, because we've got a fairly important pipe, which is reducing the amount of plastic and therefore red chips we're getting over there by about a third so this this little one section of pipe can be important that little section of pipe also going to be important um but yeah we've got we got some outposting happening i think this is like the other outpost today with these other three lanes of copper is hopefully going to be the last outpost that i need to do in this run hopefully and seven and a half hours left on the clock so we're about halfway through the time that I've got to get this to get this 15 hour achievement which is you know that's that's kind of fine I'm kind of unless something goes horribly wrong um, oh, there's a pole in the way as well um, unless something goes horribly wrong we're probably okay with that um, yeah so now yeah now all these guys are running right yeah you have your oils going down you're running you're fine um, like the secondary question is is this a plan I can improve to a point that I can do it without a spoon? And I think the answer to that is maybe. I mean, not we're definitely not doing that today. But I think there's been enough... Yeah, all these coils are built up. Um, there's been enough inefficiencies in here that with with a better plan, and with a better execution, maybe. Maybe that's something we come back to. Um, but we're halfway through the 15-hour achievement, which I'm currently pretty happy with. I do need to pick up more mining drills, though. Um... Because if I want to get, if I want to get three belts of iron out of this guy, I'm going to need, actually, about that many more mining drills. So that's actually worked out really well. Happy with how that's gone. That means we can just go there. Um, do I have? I have some belt. I have. Yeah, I've got some belt. I've got some wall. I will need to take landmines. Um, I don't even know what I'm doing with all of this wall. It wasn't really a plan to. This is not how to get landmines. Landmines are over here. Don't, yeah, don't really have a plan for what to do with this wall. And so because of that... Um, yeah, give me... give me your, have, have all of that stuff. Give me back the wall. And you have that wall. Give me all the landmines. And that's going to be what we do there. And, yeah, where am I taking... Oh, yeah, there was... Let's do some other things first. If I'm bringing back copper from here, then what I'd like to do immediately after that, no big surprise, is smelt it. So let's... Let's drop some smelting, like, here, because it wants to go in here. And then also drop, like, a rubber port here. That's going to have range on everything. And then you probably only need like 50 bots. Uh, but you will need the stuff, uh, which I have not given you. Uh, furnaces, furnaces. Um, this is in a terrible spot, as it turns out. Um, we're going to need to like just quickly bodge that. Uh, yeah. I wanted to take it off the second line because the first line is the one that's already... Actually, it doesn't matter. It was already doing that there. Okay, whatever, sure. Um, so that's going to be that build going. Um, I needed to give you belts, which I gave to the car, didn't I? Yeah. So these guys are going to get all that done. Um, that's probably more belt than you need, but whatever. Then I'm going to take power from here as well. And we're going to do this in kind of an aggressive way. Actually, I don't have the... I don't have the inserters to do what I wanted. Um, 25? Um, I don't have the boxes to do what I wanted either. Cool. I was going to do... a reasonably aggressive trick with a bunch of mining and then discover that I did not have everything I wanted. Um... 30, yeah, let's have, give me some more of those, give me some more of, oh, do I have the splitters I needed? I probably don't have, 
Um, I probably don't have the splitters I needed either. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, we'll we'll come back for you later, but I can build a bunch of LDS later. Oh, if I'm here, I should definitely get the belt because we are outposting fairly long distances at this point. Um, then there's a bunch of other faff that I don't really need. Sure, whatever. Okay. So I've got boxes. I've got 90 mining drills, which is going to be enough for the three lanes that I want. Assuming I can fit them on the patch, so that's nice. All of that is caching. These guys are on grid, so that's fine. And now we just go out to that copper and start mining it. Um, is that... Is that true? That's mostly true. What I'm going to do first, because I like redundancy, is connect this power, first of all, to this rubber port, and then also over here. Uh, did that actually connect? No. Okay, cool. Let's actually do the resiliency thing. And then did this have... Yeah, this has got both power lines, and this is all of... I mean, this the Petricum is actually only connected in one place. That probably should be connected there as well, but whatever. It's probably fine. Um, yeah. Now we go and outpost a bunch of extra stuff. I think the car has more power poles in it. Yeah, give me these. And... Yeah. So I want to I wanna mine all of this. I actually don't have any efficiency modules yet left, do I? No, because because we put them in other things. So we can do this one without efficiency modules so the bots don't complain about not having things. And then this is another going to be another one that we just mine all of it because we want all of it. Um, how many is that? 83. Um, that's actually really close to the number of miners I have, isn't it? That's pretty nice. Um, if I'm doing a landmine defense, I kind of want that over there. So let's do that. Um, why are you not on the grid? Oh, this is going to be blueprints again, isn't it? There we go. So now you're on the grid. Um, give you give you this, give you miners, give you a bunch of belt, give you some of these things, all of those, have all the bots. Um, I have a variety of things that I might need later, and also landmines. You're going to need most of the landmines. I'm going to need some of them for reasons. And then, yeah, the thing that I wanted to do... Did I give you undergrounds? I, how many undergrounds do I... Yeah, at this point, I want... Did I not get enough undergrounds? Okay, I just got enough undergrounds, but I don't know if I'm going to have the undergrounds to build everything back to the base, which is going to be a huge pain. Um, but... The reason for getting all the boxes and all the splitters is... Actually, first of all, how many of these things are here? Yeah, that's... 28 is not going to be... We want to run this one the other way, because... Uh, all those things were somewhat in the way, but whatever. Yeah, the plan here is going to be... These four belts of stuff, I want all of them, but I'd also like them to be at three belts for longer. And there's some other stuff I want to do first before I come back to actually dealing with these. So, actually, probably do this with... Yeah. Normals and then fasts, yes. Which I would like to do it with all fasts, except I don't actually think I have... That one's in the wrong place. Yeah, like that. And then I can have... Uh, I said normals and fast and then did it the wrong way around. Okay, let's let's try all that again. Um, that one wants to stay. I need to do this with mirrors instead of rotations, clearly. Um, Yeah, and then these, I'm going to have to come back with more. I'm going to have to come back with more fast inserters, which is a shame. Because um, these are going to be the lines on which we unpack everything. Um, I guess I do these boxes because I've got all these boxes. And it's reasonably easy to do with a power pole in between. 
And yeah, so, so the deal is we've got some other stuff to do. We're going to come back to that later. And oh yeah, um, I don't think I gave bots those inserters either, did I? So we'll do we'll do all of that. So now all of these things are more or less buffering at some rate, which is fine. And the thing we've got to do instead is deal with yeah all of these guys. Uh, is this going to be? This might actually be easier just to do to walk through this a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Definitely easier to do walking. Um, this guy's going to spit at me once, and then not get any further. Yeah. So, did I... That's, that's also an expansion, isn't it? Um, yeah. This is, like, clearing all of this out is... Actually, yeah, I think this is going to be... Clearing all of this out is the thing that I was going to do now, and this is also why... I wanted to be over here clearing this stuff out so so as to not get expansions in this place. Um, and that's 180 landmines. And I think I'm actually going to need more landmines. And I also haven't given bots jobs to put landmines anywhere, have I? So let's do that as well. Because over here we've got a lot of landmines. And over here we want a lot of landmines. Um... Super unlikely to be attacked from that side, isn't it? It's gonna be it's gonna be down here. And maybe over here. Um actually bots pathing around bots pathing around water. Um bite is pathing around water. I've no idea how that's gonna work, so we're gonna just like landmine all of that as well. Um they're gonna need more landmines at this point. They they are gonna be very hungry for landmines. Um but we'll attempt to make this easier by also clearing out all of these bases, which is also why we're buffering all of that copper. Um, yeah, buffering all the copper ore so that... None of those went off, did they? Oh, no, they both went off. Great. Um, yeah, buffer all of the copper ore so that... Because I've only just got three belts out of it, and I would rather have three belts for the duration of the run. And hopefully that buffered ore means that... Some of those go off? Yeah, there we go. Um, hopefully that buffered ore means that I will continue to be at a full three belts for the rest of the run, because I'm going to need all of it. I'm still not entirely sure that I'm going to get all of the copper that I need out of this thing. Um, oh wow, that's an interesting problem. Yeah, I was going to be putting landmines down there, but... I had some other things to worry about. Yeah, so you guys run over those things that I put there previously. Yeah, that was it. Doing doing that extra loop was absolutely the plan, wasn't it? So that should hopefully be... Yeah, there we go. That's all of that that we needed. Um, so, if everything goes to plan, that's going to be the last combat that I do for the rest of this run. Uh, yeah, all these guys need all of these landmines. They're going to kind of struggle for the number of landmines that I have not given them. Um, yeah, then I want basically everything else. Sure. I mean, I guess you can keep some of those. You can keep some of these. Um, how many? 124? I don't feel great about giving you that many bots. But I guess while you're doing all that kind of stuff, it's it's going to be somewhat necessary. Um, can I actually... No, none of those other stuff are in range. Okay, never mind. Um, can I pick up the car? I can pick up the car. Yeah, because we want to do a thing here. This is now going to be a somewhat normal... Maybe I should actually do another kind of strategy video thing on the idea behind this balancer. Because the idea is, yeah, if we get rid of these ones and these ones... And these ones, and these ones, and then this wants to do. Yeah, running out of these undergrounds is pretty bad. Um, yeah, so now we want to prioritize this to the the left. Yeah. So now that one missed. So now we've got these four belts coming out of the build. Some of it's getting taken off, but that's fine. We're prioritizing into those sides, so those, the belts directly from the build are 
having priority, but also this uh, there. Yeah, this other this other buffered lane is also going to help out um, and slowly unpack however much copper we put in here. How much is it? It's like maybe a couple of thousand, sure, whatever. Um, that's gonna help me stay at three belts for a while. And if it, if there'd been like also the way it's set up at the moment with those small insert with the um, normal inserters is like there is a period for which I will continue to be loading that buffer, and then because of the difference in inserter speeds, the buffer will just pivot. Yeah, it will, it's kind of if if the inserters can put things on belts, it'll be unbuffering. But if they if everything is full, then it will just be normally buffering again, or it will be unbuffering. So, yeah, that that's somewhat inept rambling nonsense is why I was thinking of doing a actual strategy video on the idea behind that particular ore buffer um, that I might use in Death World because doing it while thinking about also outposting the other stuff turns out to be tricky. Are we going... Yeah, we're more going... Let me just go straight back here. Oh yeah, these are... Yeah, this is... This is kind of fine. Because... Uh, do I actually... I've got a couple more of them, so I don't really want to be spending them like that, but whatever. But I am also nearly back at the base. Uh, yeah, we've got to kick out to the side a bit at the moment, don't we? Okay. So this is going to be... Three more lanes of copper, which is hopefully going to be the last resources. I mean, it's the last iron of copper we're going to take. I just wanted to check on these. Anyway. So these guys are filling up because we are also supporting that oil with this, which is also still full. And um, how's this one doing? This one is emptying. Okay, so that's cool. So we've got we've got a bit of petrochem for a while. Um, we actually don't have much coal mining there, do we? And um, let's also drop... Let's just drop a radar here in case we need to rely on it for anything. But the other thing I'm aware of is, yeah, probably probably this base is taking attacks. Um, but if it's not, I currently have no defense on this side. So that's a thing to revisit at some point. And by that I mean I'm not going to do it yet. Because, um, you know, that's how that works. Uh, so these would go more or less through here. And, oh yeah, I built bots here. I was gonna thank you for reminding me, bots, that you exist, because I was gonna take you back and give you other jobs. Because uh, we're now, once this stuff catches up... Do I have? Yeah, I do. Um, we're going to start on the important work of making LDS. Because uh, we, got, we got the LDS. Because I think also, I mean... Do I... Actually, I only if I want two belts filled, yes, don't I? Um, and then somewhere else... Yeah, okay, so... Uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, so we want... Like, this first lane is gonna get buffered, because I don't think I have anything to do with that yet, and mostly I only need, I only really need two belts of LDS for, oh yeah, and let's put this, is this empty? Yeah, this is empty. So we can put this thing here, uh, not there, here, and then set this back to more than, say, 1,000. So we still will definitely get all the light oil we want to the power grid and the flamethrowers at the front of the base, but I won't have so much here that's just sitting around doing nothing. Um, how is my belt delay? Three belts of copper. Three belts of copper are, like, kind of right behind me, and I didn't actually put all of this buffer belt in, so let's do that. 
And yeah, now we've got to go build a bunch of LDS for which I need tier two inserters that I don't have. But I think that's still, I think I'm still happier about that than, I kind of don't really mind that copper building up on that belt. I've also got to get the steel over there, and then we're also going to unpack that plastic buffer. And yeah, somewhere over... I don't have cogs. Give me some cogs. Um, give me some more chips, but I've already got a bunch of chips. Um, give me... Do I need belts? I don't really need belts. Do I just lodge him all this at this point? How many? Six? I can probably just lodge him all. All the stuff I... Yeah, yeah. We, we don't need to do... We can actually do sensible things now. Give me all of these. Yeah, two. Um, this one, uh, I don't really care about those. These two, yes. These two, yes. Those. Uh, one of these. Belt I've also got down here, but whatever. And then I need steel to be handcrafting. I mean, I don't need steel to be handcrafting. I could... Uh, there are other options as well. Um, but we need a lot more of those. And that's down to cogs. And then I also actually need to unpack the steel differently, don't I? Um, 44? Yeah, 44 is a decent number. Um, can I get... If I do that, I can get a full belt of steel out. It still doesn't block this thing. And then I can also have a source of... I don't need, I don't need more than half a belt there, but this will let me... Can I spaghetti this through here? Uh, yeah, kind of. So we spaghetti this through here, and now we have... Now we have steel. Um, let's also do... I'll put this on the left, because we want kind of this this full belt of plastic. Um, actually in the middle, as it turns out, for how this is going to work. And then we want to... Do I have... I was about to wonder whether I had long-handed inserters, but I don't actually care whether I have long-handed inserters, um, because I've also lodged them all the mall already, so, so that's cool. So let's have, yeah, one of these guys, like, here, okay, it's not quite going to fit. Um, yeah, it'll fit there, whatever. Okay, um, yeah, have some bots. I'm going to need to give you some other stuff, but yeah, the, so we've got, I've got a variant on the LDS build that I wanted to do. That goes... Yeah. How's this going to... fit together is the question. Ah, that's kind of on the wrong side. Okay, so we just pulled this back by one. Yeah, so... So LDS in expensive mode. Um, LDS. I... The steel and the copper ratios are the same. If I'm going to do a kind of normal thing and get two full belts of copper and Oh wait, maybe I need to buffer the second copper lane as well, because I don't think I'm going to sustain this. Um, I need three belts of plastic to also get into my LDS. And so the way we're going to do that is by having an extra lane of plastic in the middle and double handing that similar to the way we did the red chips. And then on this side... A very similar thing with three belts in the middle. And yeah, with that, this is, yeah, this is connected to them all. Um, long hat inserters are in the thing. Cool. Um, have some of those, have some of these, have stuff, have all of these. And then, yeah, this, this plastic here that. comes from the, the like the direct thing. This will be the one that's common to both. And then I need that's kinda of bad, isn't it? Let's do Yeah, I need copper in there. I need copper uh yeah spaghetti. Cause this steel has to end up on the inside of that belt. And then this one is unpacked here. Uh, that's that's silly. All of that is pretty silly. Let's 
off by a tile. Okay, so at least now we can like say this is the pattern that I want, and bots can build. Uh, I did. Bots can build a lot of that for me. Um, how many is that? Fourteen in a row. Let's do yeah, sixteen in a row. Sounds like a pretty reasonable amount. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to to give to these boxes here, are they? Um, yeah. Then I need to get. Maybe we do this by. Yeah, this belt of copper needs to end up over here, so I think the way we're going to spaghetti that in today is by doing that. And yeah, LDS. LDS is built. Um, let's do some filtering at the end. Um, also, all these trees need to disappear. And then I'm going to need one of these like over here or something to facilitate a bunch of other builds. And I guess I do that myself because I haven't given them to bots. Um, also, these guys are all stuck. I need... I need about 2,000 of these in total. So let's take... Let's take that many out and put them here. And then when this box fills... Yeah, 500 there, 1,600 there. That will be actually more than I need. And also my electric engines are done, so that's also cool. Um, yeah, we'll get... We'll get the LDS building. I could actually have... more bots helping me build stuff. Um, one needs to come back up here. Um, bots getting bots getting somewhat useful things done. I mean, I could help with the belt, couldn't I? I don't think, don't think it's going to be a big deal at this point. There's just so much other stuff to do. Okay, so um, let's Let's have this output buffered somewhere. I don't think I'm building science here, but I'm going to build some kind of buffer thing here anyway. Um, I don't have don't have any more boxes. Okay, um, let's have some steel boxes because you know why not? Why not clog up the inventory with another distinct kind of stuff? Okay, um, so we're making making a bunch of red chips. These guys have yeah, I've only got fifty bots on the lodge. Boom. Um, these guys still have after all they didn't put a radar there that was cool, on the upside it doesn't look like they're complaining about um, would I be would I know if they were complaining about ghosts because yeah, those guys are complaining about ghosts defense, 84 bots over there 500 landmines yeah, it's fine, um, yeah, we need to go and build some more science because we are clearly in a position where we need purple science and probably are close to being able to have it but also just don't have it yet and kind of need it so how many of those yeah a lot of those um actually i didn't actually want the reason i was going to do that is to change these guys to these guys and i don't think prod mods are going to be worth at the moment because we're just not going to have yeah we're just not going to have hopefully not that much i mean it's, I think it was about 40 minutes or something, wasn't it? It probably is going to be worth having all those guys back. Um, but yeah, now I need... Wait, where is this box with Assembler 2s? Um, 46 Assembler 2s. Yeah, okay, that's going to be a decent amount of stuff, hopefully. Because um, we're going to do something similar to... Where's... I mean, they're not really doing anything with this space. Uh, okay, interesting. Um... Actually, let's put the steel box over there, because then I can put things in the steel box. Um, like all of these prod mods that we'll need later. I actually need the prod mods now. Um, yeah, because we got... One wants to go one way, the other wants to go the other way. Um, I need... The long-handed inserters to always be putting... Yeah, the, the outputs to always be putting on the inside of the belt. Um, put these guys here, um, then, yeah, then, which ones, I think these ones are going to be, do I have space is the thing, yes, by the looks of it, um, so these guys are going to be my rail, uh, rail, 
this is not the usual ratio of purple sites for speedruns because of, of rail to purple sites because these guys are eventually going to be up upgraded to a simple threes um these ones are going to be the yellow science uh things we're also not going to worry about yet i think these guys might be input yeah i think they might struggle for input bottlenecks so we're going to like just completely blast that and then Uh, because that's obviously going to be what that is going to be like, and then we've got to figure out how to get this guy's inputs in as well, and may as well just use the bots for all of that. And... How many of these do I want? I think I think I decided that 10 was a number that was good for the belts, but was way too many for the amount of materials I could actually push through, but looks like we're doing 10 anyway so never mind um anyway this yeah this is where i want to do the same kind of prioritization trick to sushi all of this stuff together so prod mods come out um with a fast inserter they go there are you guys yeah you guys are super inside range um box here and then belts like this means that i can sushi together various things such as furnaces and drone parts and fairly carefully control how much each of these things get um spoilers though you want a lot of prod mods to start and then this just goes back in back in there so that's going to be how yeah usually i'll only sushi the prod mods and the the furnace will be built here but we're not doing that way today um Actually, kind of need a little more space here. This is not being fantastically built. Not fantastically planned. Um, but then I need two more here and here. Uh, which, yeah, let's let's use the steel chest for something, I guess. Because uh, these ones want to filter for purple and yellow science, and then all the other sushi ingredients just go back in there again. Which is, you know, that's nice. Um, then the blue science is going this belt this belt here is actually the one that just wants to feed into the science so that's cool so I think I'm yeah oh um let's let's do a thing where we just go hey that's that's also where your prod mods are and then also yeah you have a bunch of those do I need do I need more of these uh, yes, because I've got to do... Yeah, I've now got to do all of the inputs. And the inputs are going to require... Also, first of all, how is the power grid? Yeah, I, hopefully that's okay. I'm... Yeah, I do not need many of you guys at all at the moment, do I? I'm um, actually... You, you go to threes. Yeah. Do... Just do one stack, but then have all of those, and also have all of that... And I'll get you some more steel. And I could probably limit you by the amount of steel I want to give you, but also whatever. Um, and then I also have to figure out how to unpack that steel differently. He said scratching his head because I need a lot of it to go into the purple science. Um, so that's going to be enough for, to be honest, way more assembler tools than I need. Um, I, I, mean, I, I guess I need to upgrade a couple for LDS and stuff like that as well. And then actually there's all of this stuff can just not exist anymore. Also, bots can just take care of them not existing anymore, so that's nice. Um, yeah, so furnaces are down here. All this stuff is kind of down here as well in a way that I'm probably just going to deal with manually. How many How many prod mods do I have over here already? 1.2. Um, 2, 3, 4. So, yeah, I'm almost at the point of... Yeah, I don't think I need all that many more prod mods anymore. Especially given that I'm building some of the outposts as well. Uh, but yeah, then I need, then I need these. Okay, um, I don't want that many of them yet, though, do I? I want a hundred and eighty. Um, yeah, I want that many furnaces. That's going to be the amount that will that will get me the purple science I need to get assembler threes. And this this coal situation is a bit of an issue. Um, 
I think I was wondering whether I was going to need any more mining jewels at all. And then it struck me that yes, I have not buffered any stone. Do I have I have belt, I have splitters, I have power poles. Yeah, okay, so this is this is still a giant mess, but is like I need I need the stone for rail now. And I haven't actually buffered any of it. So we're just gonna slap some of this together. Uh do I not have do we not have undergrounds? How do I not have undergrounds at this point? I mean, that's probably a thing I already knew about, but whatever. Yeah, and then you guys are going to be running for a while, so have those. Um, am I going to get... I don't know if I'm going to get more than one belt of stuff out. Uh, but in case we are, we're going to do... Oh, wait, we're not going to do that, are we? Because we don't have undergrounds. Um, so I guess because I don't have undergrounds... Uh, what we're doing is we're just going to go like there we go now we can tolerate a whole belt of stuff and then this stone instead of going to the bricks that's going to be all we do there um oh wait, remember how i don't have undergrounds i definitely need some undergrounds uh, that one needs to go yeah so this is just going to be this is straight up going to be stone for rail. I also need... Did I make any of these things? I did not. Um, but I should be in bot range, so is is here a good place to just go? Can I get... I've got another 200 grounds here. Uh, I'm going to go that way. This can be my pipes. This is... I really want to get this done this episode. Maybe we'll get this done. Maybe we'll get Purple Science running this episode. That's kind of going to be the rest of the plan. Um, do I need a full belt of that stuff? Well, if I do, I'll also need a full belt of stone, which I also don't have. And a full belt of steel, which is going to be a mess. But I think I still... Yeah, we still figure out how to get this through here. Does that one need to exist? Uh, this this one needs to not exist. Yeah, because then I can run out of belt and have the bots help me with all of this, which is pretty normal. Uh, this, I guess, need, doesn't need to exist anymore. I don't think I care about those guys. Then, is this even a good place to... So, I mean, this can, in theory, other than unpacking, unpacking speed, be a full belt of steel. Because I, I do want to build more labs because rocket silo. Like, that's a thing that just normally happens in speedruns anyway, is you, you build more labs because the rocket silo is, is a really slow tech to research. So, I don't think I want to try and spaghetti these undergrounds through... Uh, yeah, I don't want to speak any things through there either, do I? Um, what I really need, I guess, is a more inventory space. Um, sure. Oh wait, all this, all these chips I should have left down here. Oh no, wait, you guys have got all the chips you need. Um, okay, I guess, I guess I'm dealing with that later. I will need, I will actually need more furnaces, won't I? Um, so let's do, let's do that. Except instead of inputting from there, I uh, yeah, you're not going to input from there. You're going to get this other source of. You're going to get more red chips for you guys to just slowly work through, and yeah, I put boxes somewhere else. Okay, you guys are not going to need that many of them. Okay, so that's going to also work through. Oh wait, I got rid of these things. I need those. Cool. That's going to also work. Hit that steel supply. Um, it's got the red chips out of my infantry. It means I can pick these things up. Which means I can run this. Because this really wants to go... Like that. Yeah, this is... This is not too bad. 
and then I've got things in here that I don't want that you guys can just have, and then bots can put more of these things down. Now we've got... Actually, wait, only two of the ingredients. Um, there was a third belt that, that had to... Yeah, I think the steel is going to do the same thing, but through here. Uh, you need to go there. Uh, not there. Uh, yeah, then we're gonna have to spaghetti that a bit more. Because the thing is, I also need... You guys are all... some ingredient shortage. Is one of these belts the wrong way? Why... why don't I have... What are, oh, this, this piece of belt, this piece of belt here, um, actually really important. Because if it's not sushiing, then this one doesn't take off the belt, and everything kind of backs up. But also, why didn't... oh yeah, because you're taking from the far side. Okay, fine. In that case, you guys get all of those. Um, this is actually... yeah, this is the 180 that I want to start with. And then we just need to sushi these things in. Uh, is that going to be... If I have a full belt of that one, then... These guys, yeah, this is this is kind of gonna work. Yeah, because I think I think that's going to win. I think this is going to be the the way that I need to set this up in order to have these guys have enough, like, keep pace with these assemblers when they're assembler threes. Um, but I think, I think that's where we're going to leave it at the moment. Everyone is, like, let's actually see, what do you ha not have rail? Oh yeah, because you need these guys. That's a good thing to have realized that I needed to put there. Now this is a lot happier. Now now we're actually making purple signs. Well, we're kind of making purple signs. Um, let's get rid of some of the stuff that I don't need in my inventory. I still have a gun in my inventory. Um, yeah, you can go in there. Uh, yeah, some of these things... Some of these things I don't need. Like, I don't think I'm going to need... Actually, I might. I might have to build more stone. I don't think I'm going to need that anymore. Um, is there stone bricks I kind of don't need? Fish, cogs... Um, yeah. This is, this is kind of wasting a little bit of time. Until... One extra... Uh, these guys. Yeah, do we see... I want to see purple science going down the belt. Yeah, purple science going down the belt. Uh, we are we are good. We got a thing built. We got some LDS built. We got an outpost done. We've got purple science going to the labs. We're now working on automation three, and once we've got yeah these guys, I need another four. I need another three stacks of that. So if I grab all of these and all of these, then this box can take the stuff. Actually, it can't. Um. Okay, we're gonna have another box here with all these things. So yeah, so that's... We've got LDS happening. We've built, you know, a decent amount of LDS. That's kind of nice. This is all still also kind of going and working its way through the buffers, which is kind of nice. Um, actually, this... This red... Yeah, this is the other belt of copper that I should have been buffering because I'm not actually using all of it. So that feels pretty bad. Um, but on the upside, that probably means... All these ghosts, yeah, I need to take landmines out there. We'll do that. We'll do that as well at some point. Um, yeah, the next thing to do is going to be to get blue chips online and to figure out how to get all of the green and red chips to a place where they're going to be useful. I've kind of got, yeah, acid is also a bit of a spaghetti mess, isn't it? Um, but yeah, useful useful things could happen. We've now, we're now sushiing most of the difficult ingredients we need for purple and yellow science. Uh, we've got purple science running. That's about episode length. Uh, we've got, in theory, over six and a half hours to, to keep going through this. So that's 
that's pretty nice. I think we're gonna, we, unless something horrible goes wrong, that's just wall, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably just fine. Um, unless something horrible goes wrong, we're probably okay. What are you guys complaining about not having? Repair packs, fine. Yeah, good times. Marathon. 